Welcome to SoCalTech Interviews, where we talk with the entrepreneurs, investors, and others in Southern California's high-tech industry. Today, we talk with Jacob Vanzel, the co-founder and CEO of Hydrasat. I'm Ben Quo, founder and editor of SoCalTech.com. Hi, I'm Jacob Van Zyl. I'm the CEO of Hydrosat. And, and what does your company do? Hydrosat actually will measure the temperature of all plants and soil globally to determine how much water is available at any place on Earth every four days. And uh, what, what kind of use is, does that have, measuring the water? Ah, I'm glad you asked. You know, plants that are well watered are cool, but plants that are stressed stop that process to cool themselves down and their temperature increase. When plants, plants are stressed, they produce less food. So we will be able to tell exactly where food is being produced and at what rate it's being produced. And eventually, with our products, we'll be able to tell farmers exactly when to irrigate their crops to allow them to produce about 20% more food than they can today while saving water. Interesting. And so how far along are you in terms of developing your satellites? We're already working on our algorithms and we're actually building our special thermal infrared cameras that will measure the temperature right now. The cameras will be ready next June. And who would be the customer for, your, for the data coming from your satellites? We're focusing on three different markets to begin with. The first one is the government, obviously. We're working with the Air Force on a contract to identify safe landing zones for helicopters, basically how wet the soil is. The second one is sort of the trading markets. Uh, you can imagine if you know what the crop yields are going to be globally, which we will be able to tell from our data, then people who trade in the markets would uh, find that data very useful. And the third one in the long run would be actually farmers who irrigate and uh, produce the food. It's well known that we have to about double our food output to be able to feed the growing population in the long run. And this type of technology will allow farmers to actually produce far more food than we can do today on the same land with less water. Now, there's, there's existing satellites uh, like Sentinel and that, that do some of this now. Uh, what's the advantage of your uh, solution uh, over those existing ones? Excellent question. Sentinel and, and MODIS instruments and so on cover the globe every day, but at about one kilometer resolution for the thermal data. We will produce images at the agriculture field scale better than what Landsat does today, eventually every day, initially every four days. What's the biggest challenge in getting to market for your startup? Uh, getting the satellites up in space. Uh, uh, it's not that its technology is so difficult. We're, uh, we're using a technology that has flown around Mars for 18 years, so we know it can work in space. But as you know, it takes a long time to develop satellites and get them up in the air. And, and so we are hoping to launch our first satellite by the end of 2020 to two, middle 2021. Uh, what form factor is that satellite going to be? Uh, right now, it looks like we can fit in a 12U CubeSat, so it's very small. Okay. It's, a, you know, it's uh, unprecedented for thermal infrared, uh, but it's because we use a special technology. Great. So what's the biggest lesson you learned uh, out of the uh, Techstars program so far? Oh, you know, it's uh, life is strange. Things change uh, on a short time scale. But we are also very grateful for all the introductions to all the venture capital uh, firms and also the many partners of our tech stars that gave us some excellent feedback on how to you know, position our company and, and how to grow.